In this video, we're going to sketch the region given by this definite integral, and we're going to write the other order of integration. We're gonna switch the order of integration, and we're also gonna find the area that's given by this, by this integral. So let's go ahead and work it out. Let's first sketch the region. So to sketch the region, first we're doing x. So x goes from four to seven, because it says dx, so first we do x. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. So we're going from four to seven. So I'm gonna put a four here and then put a seven here. So it's gonna be from four to seven. So x runs from four to seven. So you could write vertical lines. In fact, I will, but I'll end up erasing them in a minute, but there they are. And now we're doing y. So y goes from two to five. So we're going from two to five. My picture's not drawn to scale. So from two to five. And now you see what's left is this is this rectangle, um, so or actually a square, I believe. Yeah, this is a square, so because all the sides have the same length. So we're left with this beautiful square right here. So we're left with this square. Let me do it again without drawing the lines to make it a little bit prettier. So you draw the y-axis, you draw the x-axis, you go from four to seven, because x goes from four to seven, then y goes from two to five. So you just put a two and a five here, and then you just draw a box, right? That's probably the better way uh, to do it. Okay, so that's, that's our region of integration. So now we can switch the limits. So now let's do dy dx. So from the picture, first we're doing y, so y goes from two to five, so from two to five, and then x goes from four to seven, four to seven. And that's it. So again, y goes from two to five, x goes from four to seven. So let's, let's just double check. So in this case, x goes from four to seven. So x goes from four to seven. And then y goes from two to five. So y goes from two to five. In this case, first you do y, so two to five, then you do x, four to seven. In both cases, you end up with the same thing. We don't even need to use calculus to work this out because it's just a regular area. So this distance here is three. This distance here is three. So the area would be equal to three times three which is equal to nine, and that's how <laughs> pros do it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Take care.